Do you ever dream of the mountains? Well, sometimes so do we. Join us on this how-to video on how to make intricate protocols with the ramp and hold in your MMS. For instance, osteotalgesia. Let's start. Thank you very much for joining. And for those who are wondering what such a mountainous uh, paradigm would look like if you have to plan it, then uh, I'll have to say it would look like this. But we can start with something a little bit more simple, like, for instance, offset analgesia. And for offset analgesia, I want to borrow a protocol that uh, was used by Alter et al. Uh, in a new, a new publication in 2022, in which they checked uh, what offset analgesia looks like under the, the functional near infrared spectroscopy. And uh, they set up the program like this, and I want to do it together with you. We are going to the create. We are going to be in the programs tab, and we are going to the create new programs button. And uh, when we are here, we have to check that we are in the ramp and hold method, and we'll give the program a name. For all of you who wonder, I have uh, one person may have a TSA2, and another person may have a QSense, and another person may have a TSA2 air. All of those uh, program setups look the exact same thing. The only uh, difference maybe between those devices is the fact that your device has a specific technical cap capability, which uh, uh, has uh, its influence on the rates. So with QSense, you may go uh, at a specific rate and with TSA2 Air or with TSA2 chips, you may go at a different rate and a higher rate. And so, that's the only difference between them, but the setup of, of the program is the same. We'll start with entering a baseline temperature, and in Alta's case, uh, they had a personalized destination temperature, which they aimed at being at pane 50 or a VAS 50. Uh, but they had a maximum temperature, for instance, 47, in order not to cause any injuries, and we'll do the same. So we'll take the destination temperature of 47 degrees, and uh, we'll take the same destination rate they had, a degree and a half, and uh, they were at T1, that, that's the what it looked like in the protocol, for five seconds. And uh, I'll just put a return rate of one, and I'll leave it at baseline because I want to show you the progress that we are going through uh, when we are setting it up. So just let's go to looking glass and we see that we went to 47 at a degree and a half and we uh, we stayed there for five seconds and then we went a, deg a degree per second down to baseline. But in the real case scenario, we're not going to baseline, we're going to the next destination and I'm adding another sequence. Let's just uh, write it down. And in this case, after 47, we go up one degree to 48 degrees And their destination rate was not specified, but I'm guessing a degree and a half. And in this case, they also stayed for five seconds. And let's say that we're going back to baseline, just for the sake of argument and for the sake of seeing what it looks like in our program. So we went up to 47, stayed there for five seconds, went up to 48, stayed there, stay, stay there for five seconds. And now we're going back to baseline. Well, at least well, that's what we did up till now, but we're not going back to baseline. We're going to the next destination. And I'm just taking you through the steps. So when you make up a program and you know what you're doing, you don't have to go back to the looking glass and see what you did all the time. This is just for you to see what's, what's happening and where we're going. And is it correct what I just did? So I'm adding another sequence at the end. And this time we're going to be at 47 degrees. For 20 seconds. And this time really we're going back to baseline and they went back to baseline with six degrees per second. And I want to remove the pain ratings because they did it with the COVAS. And I would highly recommend you to look at our COVAS webinar just to understand what the COVAS does, and maybe it's also something that may be interested, interesting to you. So let's look at the looking glass and see whether we were successful at making an offset analgesia protocol, and I would say we were. 
Uh, but I want to show you just a little bit if here in the middle, in this sequence, I went, I would have gone back to baseline, it would have looked like this. Okay, so this is uh, what we're doing. Uh, when you choose the next destination, the return rate really doesn't matter. So if I put a return rate of 10 degrees right now, it would look the exact same thing. The return rate doesn't matter if you're going to the next destination, then the destination temperature matters. So I can just keep it in there or just make it back to one. When you're going back to baseline, then the return rate matters. So let's just save this program and let's go back and let's just run it. Okay, so we choose, we chose a patient, we chose offset analgesia, let's go to the test. Let's run a pretest. Let's start. And you can see that it climbs up to 47 degrees. Here's the target temperatures for, for those who uh, want to see it. Uh, and when we reach it, it will start counting down until the next destination, uh, uh, until the end of it. And then we were going to 48 and we're counting down. And then it will say that we're going to 47 and it will count down until the end of being at 47. And for those who use the COVAS, you'll see the COVAS uh, ratings on your screen if you use the COVAS or if your participants uses the COVAS. And you can have very, very high temporal resolution for uh, the pain ratings of that patient. And you can export it to Excel and then you have access to it as well. And then we're finalizing the test. And I would like to thank you very much for joining us on how to make mountainous landscapes in the MMS, or in this case, the offset analgesia. And if you have any questions or requests, please write us at info at medoc-web.com or visit our website at www.medoc-web.com and we'll be happy to answer and tend to your queries. Thank you very much for joining. Goodbye.